Welcome back to the Almost Friday Podcast, guys. Hey, we're brought to you by FitBot. Add FitBot to your workout essentials. Join FitBot today to get your personalized workout plan. Get 25% off. Try the app free at fitbod.me slash almost Friday. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash almost Friday. The show is also sponsored by BetterHelp. Become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Visit betterhelp.com slash beers today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash beers. Thank you to our other sponsor, Game Time. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, Create an account and use code FRIDAY for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code F-R-I-D-A-Y for $20 off. Let's get into this episode. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Almost Friday podcast. As <laughs> you can... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead, man. I was going to say, ignore the rain. It's raining a lot. It's raining a lot. The atmospheric river in the sky. It's cleaning out the streets of Los Angeles. It's washing away the piss and shit mm-hmm. from the sidewalks. Mm-hmm. It's God trying to piss away that little shit stain in the bowl, but it just won't go away for some reason. And he's got to get on his hands and knees and scrub it. But instead he does this and just hopes that eventually it'll go away. Nope. L.A. is still a dirty, dirty hell hole, and it's his fault. I'm bl- I've been blaming God for a lot. But I've, I've been doing a lot of research on angels. And Fallen Angels recently. Actually? Yeah. I've been getting into Mr. Mythos. What is Mr. Mythos? Uh, the best YouTuber alive. I highly check, recommend checking him out. He's the shit. This Got guy it. has the best YouTube channel in the world. I was So list- is it like Mr. Ballin kind of? Uh, Ultra n- terrestrials. He researches all of this. He's a genius. He does so much research and he's super smart. And then he just breaks down, scroll down a little bit. There was one video that blew my mind. Yeah. Angel Algy explained in, a, in obsessive detail. Dude, it blew my mind how angels are just inter, interdimensional aliens pretty much. Well, that's what they say. Of course, none of it's real. It's real, dude. So I, here we are. I believe in it, dude. It's really weird. I've been, I've been going down a rabbit hole with that. Yeah. And, and a lot of inner earth conspiracies as well. So nothing's changed. Same old jazz. Uh, I was getting really, really into that, taking my mind off things. Listen to that rain come down. Can that just be the pod? Can this be the rain episode? It's a fireside chat. Here's the thing, Emily. I I can't do this today, and I won't, so I'm going to give you some sound bites, and you're going to edit them in so that whenever Liam talks, it can just cut to those, okay? Perfect. Wow, that's hilarious. Thank you. No way you, that just came out of Kella's mouth. He hadn't. He hasn't lost his edge. Really? How do you figure that? Uh huh. I see. Emily, shut up, bitch. <laughs> Emily, please be quiet, bitch. No way, bro. Let's hear more on that. All right, we should be good. And I'm just gonna lay back the rest of the episode. Cool. Yeah. That's sweet. All right, let's try one out, Emily. Hey. Met so many awesome pod fans on on the last. Stops the tour. No way, bro. Let's hear more on that. Thank you guys so much for coming out. You guys were amazing. Really? How do you figure that? Uh, I had a lot of... It was, it was a blast. It was great meeting all of you. Everyone was asking, where was old Gus Angus at? I was in my little cave. I, I molt around this time of year. So I can't go out in public. I'm uh, shedding my winter coat, as they say. No, how fun is that? That's fun. I make up different things every time someone asks me where you are. Hope. Did anyone ask where I was? Nobody asked uh, where you were. No, no. What? Yeah. Wait, why? I don't know. I don't know. Why do you think? Wait, what the hell? Why not? Wait, they didn't. They didn't ask about Emily. Nope. No what Emily the questions. Fuck? What's wrong? Nobody. What the fuck? Everyone thought uh, the car accident was a lie. She was doing it for attention. And mm-hmm. I was like, "Yep." I said yes. You caught me. Yes, it is. I Somewhere out there, there's ring camera footage of Emily destroying her car with a baseball bat. I was alone at the Atlanta airport at a TGI Fridays eating a Caesar salad by myself. I'm so scared for where this is going. And I just thought about, you know, why I, why I chose to get into comedy and why couldn't I just, you know, I don't know, just do sales or something, something I can work from home and not really give a fuck about. Mm-hmm. And just, you know, eventually buy some land, start a family, 
have a job that you know keeps me in a safe place financially yeah. and then really all i worry about is my family and my land you're a guy that needs a lot of land i need a ton of land you got a lot of projects you want to do mm -hmm. and with the land you're working with in la it would be nearly impossible you'd have to have bezos money <sighs> yeah i don't have any land dude it's uh it's really i'm starting to think about how that's that's one of the things i want in life and mm -hmm. i don't know if i'm ever going to be able to get there you won't i don't think i'm ever going to own land no well i think you'll own land it just won't be the land you want yeah you know what they do in Europe is they build down. Mm. They've got, they don't have that much land, but they build down and you in instantly, every floor, you double your square footage. That's your only option is to have a ginormous tube, a, a giant elevator for our, your house. You're going to live in a house that's the size of this room, but I it did. goes up. It's like a space elevator. This room is basically the size of my apartment. This uh, <laughs> yeah, really is. It's this room, and I have a room including eight. the kitchen, with two bedrooms attached, yeah. and a shower made in 1905. Yeah, yeah. Your your apartment is extremely depressing, but it's only because you two don't care about it. Well, what are we supposed to do? No, I'm not saying you're supposed to do anything different, but uh, like the decor, it's just like your house is very lived in. Yeah. It's great. Thank you. Thank you. It's very lived in. Yeah. I, I, uh. You got it. Anyway. Yeah. You're sitting at this TGI Fridays. How many times did you think about boarding the plane and jumping through that little crack into the jet engine? Oh. Right before you're about to step through the door, the big giant tube connects to the plane and there's just a sliver of space. Jump out, get sucked in. There was a lot of. I flew in this morning, and uh, so I flew through the storm, and there was the most turbulence I've ever experienced on a plane, mm -hmm. and it woke me up. I never wake up on a plane. I sleep the whole time. It's because uh, you're usually so drunk or high that yeah. no one could, like, it's, I've seen the stewardess try to shake you. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. Your eyes are just white. How do you... Or they're glowing green or orange. That was the longest tea break I've been on in a while, actually. I didn't bring any weed. Oh, nice. So one one nice gentleman gave me a joint. Thank you. After the Philly show. Thank you. Everyone at Philly was awesome. And uh, I smoked that. But uh, I smoked that with a stranger on the street. Shout out to that guy. Uh, and that was it. And then I was just... Home free. Home free. And what were you going to ask, Emily? I was wondering, how do you come to work after landing on a plane like because they don't give us an option i, have, I know I have, what do you mean i have to come in and do this i know but it's just one of those things where it's like if i like my day is over after a plane ride yeah dude i i know how you feel i got i got back to my apartment and ordered dunkin donuts it sucked i didn't even bring my fucking gatorade and oh dude that the puke i had at the airport <laughs> this morning uh it was the craziest puke of my what life. Do you mean? Even more so than on the plane when you just It was way crazier than that. I but I'm so my body's so trained now that I am I'm, I'm in the Uber on the ride there and I was just so thirsty. Cause I I went to bed at two and I woke up at four thirty for the flight. <laughs> puked immediately because I ate I got home at two, ate uh $35 worth of Wendy's as I was eating it I was like what am I doing mm -hmm. what am I doing to myself mm -hmm. woke up puked all that chugged a bottle of water in the Uber was like immediately knew I had, I had just fucked up I had just fucked up really bad so I'm just like cold sweating all the way through security just gripping do my little puke pressure points right yes, here yes, yes 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 and then I go into the bathroom dude and I didn't even shut the door. I didn't even shut the stall door all the way. I don't know what would have happened because sometimes you get into an airport bathroom in the morning and none of the stalls are there. I don't know what. I would have puked in the sink or something. It would have been insane. Uh, it was like uh, 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 just like you ever seen that video of that guy getting hit with that fire hose off that truck? Mm -mm. It was like it was a straight up fire hose. <laughs> Look up. Dude, it was crazy. It was one of those things where I was just joker laughing again. Are you talking about like those police water cannons that they spray people with? Yeah, they spray, spray people looking for rights. That's the best invention I think I've ever seen. They have it in GTA, too. You can spray people. Really? How fun is that? All right, let's see it. Oh, this isn't it, but whatever. Oh, this guy's toast. Oh, no. Oh, no. You see that? They're spraying it to his left. It's a warning shot. Oh, can't do that. Wait, hold on. 
Hold on. Hold on. What do you think they're... Pro- oh. Yeah. oh. Dude. Dude, when you're sliding on concrete, you got hit pretty hard. Could punch a hole in someone's chest with a water cannon. You ever seen him cut steel with water? Yeah. It's insane. My buddy's dad growing up... What's did, it made of? Didn't really... Got a new power washer. And the old one he had wasn't uh, that strong. So he just thought it was going to be the same, you know, thing. Went to clean his feet off after and, like, cut the fuck out of his feet. Like, almost cut all of his toes off. It's a razor. Yeah. It's insane. I don't know if we talked about this yet, but did you see that uh, story about the Chiefs fans? That died? Yeah. I I, I don't know how this had... I feel like it hasn't been in the news at all. I've, Are they trying to cover it up? No, I, I, I've been following it kind of closely. And apparently, so these dudes go, these three guys go to their friend's house to watch the Chiefs game. Oh, I thought it was fans at the game. No, no, no. They were at, and uh, I guess this guy just makes drug concoctions. Wait, what is this? Did suburban Walter White poison his friends, unraveling mystery of Kansas City Chiefs fans' frozen fentanyl deaths? Dude, what the fuck? So I think... What the hell? Apparently, they they call the guy the chemist, and he just makes a weird, just, you know, bottle of drugs or whatever. Maybe they're smoking it. And so three guys went outside, did it, passed out outside, and froze to death. And the guy who made it passed out inside for 48 hours. He was asleep. So he had no idea. And he opened up his door to the police. And they walked him outside, and there was his friend's dead bodies in the backyard. And he had no idea because he was asleep for two days. That'd be a tough, 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 tough. Oh, my God. Go back up to the picture, Emily. We don't need to show their pictures. No, we do. Emily, what's her full names? <laughs> Emily's like, Emily's like, I can't believe I work with these sons of bitches. Emily, how's your weekend? I work with these SOBs. It's good. I went out a lot. Got What'd drunk, you do? What'd you do? Went and hung out. No one cares. I just hung out with some friends and went out. Anything anything crazy happen? I had something crazy happen. What happened? I had an insane weekend. What happened? I learned how to solve a Rubik's Cube. You've been on that for a while now. Also, I, w- I went out to my girlfriend because my acne's been clearing up. And I said... How do you have acne? I don't know. What do you mean? I'm 27. I don't know. <laughs> Stress. Okay, fair. And I went up and I... Well, you see it though, right? That's what you're talking about, or do you mean like? In- I don't know. I don't, I've never really noticed you having acne. Well, then why would then? I said, "How do you have acne?" Oh, yeah, I just have it all over my face. And I went up to her and I said, "Hey, check out my acne. This is clearing up." And she goes, "That's so weird. You took Accutane, right?" And I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "Ah, I don't know why it's getting worse." Then, and I was like, "Oh shit, <laughs> dang it." When did you take Accutane? <laughs> When I was like uh, 19, maybe. Did that suck? Yeah. Because you can't drink on Accutane, right? You're not supposed to? You are not supposed to, which I did not know. Dude, I had a friend in high school who started doing deer antler spray to get big in the weight room. What? Yeah. Deer antler spray? Yeah, it's like a steroid. Is it like... I mean, it's literally a steroid... What is it? It's not made of like... It's a human growth hormone. Right, but it's deer antler spray. It's not made... It's, there's no like... There's nothing from a deer in it. I assume it. it looks this like is the brand some name, right? De- deer antler velvet extract. Look up Look up what it is. Deer antler extract. I'm pretty sure it's... Did his acne get super bad? D- it was a beard of like big red boils. It so- was... Crazy. People use deer velvet for athletic performance, high blood pressure, increasing sexual desire, asthma, and many other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to support these uses. It actually is from deer antlers. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. How do people figure that out? Who crushed up a deer <laughs> antler and, and put it inside their penis? You ever seen a deer shedding its skin on the antlers? It's disgusting. Uh-uh. Oh, it's really gross. No. Oh! Yeah, dude. It's pretty gnarly. Wait, is there blood in them? Yeah. There's blood in antlers? Well, there's blood under the skin. I thought it was like a fingernail. Well, there's blood under your fingernails if you rip it off. I rip my girlfriend's fingernails off all the time when she makes me mad. There's no blood. Probably because they've scabbed over so much from me doing it so many times. Yeah. You ever seen Willie D's fingernails? 
Yeah, they're the they're so long, and he chews them off. And he's got the grossest fingernails I've ever seen. Yeah, him. he Sorry, really he really picks them apart. I tried to play the um, peeling the orange prank on an enemy because I can't. My nail, look at my nails. Those things are nubs. So um, Emily, did you have a hard time driving to work today? No. Oh, that's weird because you showed up super late. I was working from home this morning. Oh. Oh. I thought you were gonna make a joke about my car accident. Oh. People here really take rain like. It's the end of the world. Like, it's a snow day. It's absurd. It, if you're from the East Coast and you live in L.A., it's, like, it's the most the funniest thing to watch. Well, the, I think the roads just aren't built for it. And it's a lot worse in other areas than it is for us here. Like, in, uh, uh, in the Valley, it's supposed to be horrific. Right? <sighs> I have no idea. You don't know anything, dude. I don't know. Shit What's the craziest that? shit that happened to you on tour? Give me the juicy details, not this, not this bullshit. Um, do one of your jokes from your shows. Okay. Um, yeah, do one of your bits from your shows. This could really light, brighten up the episode. Here we go, mastermind, mastermind. Oh, look at him go. He's a fucking genius. My crowd work's some of the worst in the world. I can't imagine crowd work being easy to do. I just You're like... You're so good at making fun of me. How is that hard for you to do crowd work? I don't think there has been a single moment on this episode or on this podcast. Someone go through and check the tape. Watch all 50-something episodes. There has not been a single moment where you were the butt of the joke where we made fun of you, where we targeted you, where we tried to make you feel uncomfortable, we tried to make you feel small. We've been nothing but supportive, and we're all about building each other up. So when you come in here with that, excuse my language, that junk, it really starts to peeve me off. Yeah, I don't like it. And honestly, I know this probably is the only time that I've targeted you and called you out on something ever. Liam, what were you saying? Oh, my, my girlfriend's parents came to one of the shows. Oh, that's horrendous. I was so nervous, dude. That's the, that's. I was very happy they came and supported, but I was nervous, dude. What did, did yeah, they. Like you can't, do you give a shit about like making your really horrible racist jokes? <laughs> what? What have you seen me do a race joke? You've done. Name one race. I don't have any race material. There was something you did that caused a girl to have an anxiety attack during the show. <laughs> Must you're have been just, real bad. Emily, you're actually fucking insane. That's true. It wasn't a race joke. That was crazy, Emily. That was one of the Emily just from the hip. Just, here's a nuclear bomb. Shotgun shot. <laughs> sawed off shoddy. But like, you know what I mean? Like your dark jokes. Do you get scared about making them? Color in after front dark. Of, in front of her parents? Yes, I was nervous because it's a very, it's a pretty dark hour. There's a lot of suicide material in there. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> a lot of material about like hookups and re and relationships and treating your girlfriend like gaslighting your girlfriend. No, thank God. I have no, I have no uh, relationship stuff, really. I know. It'd be so funny, though. It's like all the material is about like you shitting on your current girlfriend. That would have been really fucking funny. You're doing uh, Def Jam about, <laughs> about dating your girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, dude. My, my dad calls me and he goes hey uh hey you think you could get uh get uh you me and some of my buddies some tickets for uh the dead and co text john mayer and see if you can get some tickets for those shows and i was like <laughs> yeah let me, i'll get right on that calls me a day later so when do you think i'm thinking like may or june and i was like usob usob my sister did the same thing. She saw that we were at Dead & Co. and texted me like, hey, I'm going to John Mayer's solo tour. I was wondering if you could get me tickets. And I was like, do you think that like that I'm friends with this guy? I think we are now. I consider myself friends with John Mayer. I don't. I do. Well, we talk more. Oh. Like you talk to him more than you talk to me? I haven't you talked to like him staying since. Up, staying up late calling each other? Sometimes, yeah. You guys, Sometimes. Are, you guys are playing phone tag and Instagram DMs with like FaceTimes? I oh, missed you this time. I'll get you next time. Pretty much. You know what I want to talk about? Super Bowl's coming up. What are your predictions? 
Ah! Ah! I'm getting all your thoughts. Uh, oh my god. Uh, Emily, run. We just we just Got freaky, out. We just freaky Friday. I just saw some of your pubes. <laughs> There's a little little mites and crabs running around. Hey, Will. Yeah. How come you got so many boils down there? <laughs> and correct me if I'm wrong, this is just This is just your face. Like instead of a penis, it's just another face. It's like the Voldemort head. Yeah. And why do I feel a bunch of stuff crawling around inside me? Is that is it ants. how you op? And that's how you operate day to day. Mm -hmm. Ants, spiders, worms. Instead of blood, you have ants. Pretty much like uh, you know, at the end of Nightmare Before Christmas, when they cut open the boogeyman, and it's all nope. the worms. Never seen it. Well, they cut open. Spoiler alert: the boogeyman is in a is in a, a sack. His skin is a, his skin is like a, a a wool sack, and he cuts it open. It's a lot of worms. It grubs worms, you know. Yeah, I've never seen it, so this is like... You should watch it. It's falling on deaf ears. It's one of my favorite movies. I thought you were going to Freaky Friday yourself, but really it was just me pretending to be you, calling out boils on my penis, and then you didn't call anything out cool about your... You uh, didn't pretend to be Will. Why are your nipples so puffy? Yeah, do more. These look like they've been chewed on. Do more. They look like they've been chewed on and, and sucked and, and suckled Do a different part of your body, do more. Um, did you piss? Uh, did you piss yourself? Yeah. It's wet down there. That's good. I'm taking a quick break to talk to you about Prize Picks. Okay, we've been talking about Prize Picks for a while now. The NBA demons and goblins have arrived. Okay, you've seen them lurking in the NFL squares. Now our new friends are ready to crash the NBA board. Here's a quick recap about how they work. Demons are a little wild. They're statistically harder to win, but the entry qualifies for higher payouts up to a hundred times. Goblins love the green. They're statistically easier to win, but come with lower payout multipliers. I heard Will did some demons and goblins last week, so let's check out what the results are. We won the demon. Let's go. And before I make our Super Bowl picks, you should know that there's a Super Bowl free square featuring Patrick Mahomes, okay? He just needs to exceed 0.5 passing yards for a win. That's insane, okay? Combine the free square with any other players to take advantage of this offer all the way up until game time, February 11th at 6.30 p.m. EST. All right, some Super Bowl picks. Christian McCaffrey, more. George Kittle, more. Patrick Mahomes, more. Take the free square. And uh, give me Isaiah Pacheco, more. Let's throw 25 bones on that. Woo! Let's get back into the episode. Okay, 49ers, Kansas City Chiefs, Super Bowl matchup. I want to talk about this just for a little bit. Who knows what's going to happen? Anything uh, could happen. We do. We know what happens. Here's a couple of predictions. Liam, why don't you kick it off? One of the commercials is a Chef Boyardee commercial, and it's just Joe Biden blowing on a hot bowl of soup for four minutes straight. <laughs> he's trying to cool this thing down, but it's he's like losing breath and then taking it's It's four minutes long. Okay. I have one about the game. Okay. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I, I got it. I got some more game ones. Okay, my number one prediction: the Kansas City Chiefs are going to win, and Patrick Mahomes' dad is going to drive the car at the front of the parade, <laughs> leading the whole thing, and he's going to set a pace you've never seen. The highlights are going to be insane. Patrick Mahomes' senior, Patrick mm. Mahomes' dad, whatever. It's going to be like nothing we've ever seen. Uh, Travis Kelsey is going to be heard on a hot mic talking about how. Uh, Taylor Swift makes him laser his pubes off, and there'll be a quote that says, she wants me bald down there, dude. I'm itchy all the time. <laughs> okay, speaking of Travis Kelsey, I actually do think this is going to happen. Travis Kelsey will win Super Bowl MVP, and Taylor Swift will present him the award, and he'll get down on one knee, and then boom, like Scott Pilgrim, he'll have to fight all of her exes to death. Okay. But here's what's going to happen. He's going to decapitate John Mayer. He's going to rip Matty Healy's uh, beating heart out and show it to him. But then Jake Gyllenhaal is going to tackle him with a suit of grenades and destroy the entire Chiefs dynasty in one foul swoop. It's like the ending of Prince of Persia. I've never seen it. You should see it. It's Well, now I don't have to. Now you don't have to. Um, 49ers win. Players dump a the jug of Gatorade on Shanahan, but Chris mm -hmm. Angel turned the Gatorade bucket into cement <laughs> and 
it kills him and it dries him up and he's in a mound of cement on the field and he's there for the rest of the time. They're going to have him like, like Han Solo and Carbonite. Yeah, exactly. That's what it looks they, like. They don't have to build him a statue. That He is the statue. Yeah. You know, they used to do that with monks. Like I remember one time they – or there was like a, a statue of Buddha or something. Yeah, and there's a guy in it. Yeah, that was like made of gold and they – I think they x-rayed it or they dropped it. And found that there was a dude they, inside. They x-rayed it, yeah. They, uh, That's, that must have been crazy. Okay. Number three of Will's, Will's wild Super Bowl predictions. They're going to find out there was a little guy inside the ball the whole time. There's obviously been rumors. The NFL's denied it. They don't want people to know it's rigged. But this is the Super Bowl. I mean, it's what? The, the league's been around for like 60 years. It's bound to happen. It just gets more likely every year. Yeah. Um, I got another commercial. It's a Doritos commercial, but it's Joe Biden struggling to open up a bag of Doritos for 90 seconds. And then his wife comes and opens it for him and pats him on the back. And he looks really ashamed that he couldn't get it open. He's like, I'm not the man I used to be. <laughs> it's breaking down in tears. He cries and she, 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 uh, he says, I don't even, I don't even remember when I started to open these. And then the first lady wipes his tears away at the Doritos and eats them. It's sharp and it cuts her mouth. It's like, cuts it like fuck. <laughs> wow. Okay. And my craziest Super Bowl prediction. Yeah, this one will this one will never come true. You'll be able to buy a beer for ten dollars at the game. And this is my craziest one. Yeah, this podcast is willing to go there. Usher sacrifices a virgin at the halftime show with an obsidian sword and summons a legion of fallen angels to destroy Las Vegas, but Archangel Michael shows up and fucks everyone up. As he does. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that one's going to happen. I don't. I hope not. All right, let's get into our next segment. <laughs> Cracker of the week. You didn't have the reverb. Cracker of the week. Did I get your blood pumping or what, you fucking freak? We're back, baby. I got a good lineup today. I got a strong lineup. Right now, the current lineup, Will is kind of body in color. He's yeah. got Nathaniel Scorch and B Pat. Look at that. Today, I'm coming in hot. Liam has you three picks this week, and you, you only have two, so he has an advantage already. I'm not worried. You should be, bro. I'm not. You should be. All right, let's see it. First up, we have Sela or Sela, I don't know how to pronounce it, Eddins. This is Will's pick. Please me like a child. I broke out of that shit years ago. I can He's got wow. pipes. Yeah, dude. He's got He's a got pipes. Crazy strong voice. He's got production. He's got it all. He's got the goods. Dude. Yeah. Emily, what's his name again? Sela Eddins. Sela Eddins. S E L A H. That guy rips. D D I N S. Dude. Yeah. I mean Yeah. Oh, ben, being able to sing would be so cool. I know. I'd be able to do so many fun bits. We wouldn't have to be here watching other people sing. I know. We could be in our own band. Next up, we have Liam's pick. His name is Peyton Parrish. Oh, my God. Valhalla Calling is what this is called. Ships on vigor and the waves are skim and power and summons to the verdant plains. Each horizon is a new beginning. Rise, hounds, rain. 
and far from the fjords and the ice cold currents, raven soar of a new frontiers, songs and sagas of a fate determined, shields, hands, spears. And vows of favor while the thrill of plunder Boom to gather for the clan and kin Clank of hammers and the crash of thunder Pound with on Wow. Okay, I gotta be honest. I was expecting some stomping and clapping to come in. And nobody was supporting him in the back. Well, you should... I mean, his whole page is this, mostly, I would say. With no... Wait, there's... Okay. And he's got stuff where he's like... He's got the drums going in. This was an acapella version. His his voice is really strong. Kind of... He does Nickelback covers sometimes. His voice is great. I could see him doing some Nickelback. Pe- yeah. People, he... people got a little mad at him because... Uh, I guess people with actual, you know, Norse ties... Uh, are saying this is it's not, cultural appropriation. Yeah, and this isn't what Vikings dress like or all that shit. But hey, whatever, dude. Well, Vikings also took mushrooms and, and raped everything that yeah. breathed. A- allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. Good word. I wasn't there to see it. Good word. Alleg- I'm not saying Norse people. I'm saying Vikings. Mm, well, Vikings. Yeah, they were they were they were pillaging, dude. I will say this is one of those situations where if. If I was an American Idol judge, like I would be Simon, like stopping the song and being like, I would like to hear something else. And then he would come out with the Nickelback song. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Sure. And then he would like fucking kill it. Mm. Yeah. Just like that. All right. Next, we got Jonathan Tilkin. Uh oh. This is Liam's pick. This one I th- is, is my winner. All right, we're jamming. Yeah, yeah. I wanna jam it with you. We're jamming, jamming, and I hope you like jamming too. Ain't no rules, ain't no vow, we can do it anyhow. I and I will see you through. Cause every day we pay the price with a living sacrifice. Jamming to the jamming. Watch his lips. Play the, play the last second. No, I saw it. Woo, 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 woo. Jam is through. <laughs> wow. I don't think I've ever seen a seen that. Yeah. His voice is actually immaculate. Oh, it's great. But just it was like the facial some of that stuff really really threw me. It's powerful. It's powerful. Okay, that's a pretty tough one to beat. But but I think I have you beat. All right, let's see. This is Still alive is this person's name. And no, I think it's the song. No, it's, I don't think it is. Okay. His name. His name is at Still Alive. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm about to give y'all a little freestyle. Just this one minute freestyle right here. Let me take a sip of this defeat? water real quick. No. <laughs> My name still is one more. All right, yeah. <laughs> If you want to try and play with me, you can die. Yeah, I was 17 with a 25 on my side. Yeah, I had that little 25. It would slide in my right pocket. If you're trying to play with me, you can die. Got a little older, got that Ruger 9. Yeah, I put it on my left side. Yeah, it fit a lot better than the right. I don't know why it fit better than the right. But if you trying to play with me, you can die tonight. Down. If you cross that line, I'll blow you down. Yeah, I got them big pounds. Yeah, what you talk about? Get the fuck around. That jacket's crazy. Great deep voice, too. Ah, oh, he's got a great voice. 17, too. With 17? a voice like that. Wow. All right, we got one more, guys. We got one more. Is this your ringer? This one's going to be tough to beat. I didn't even look right, at it yet. Right. I just saw the like initial image, and the guy's name is Andy Negative. All right, I'm not going to look That's yet a good until I hear name. the song, and then I'm going to look up. Okay. Did I just write the next emo anthem? We are the princes and princesses of the glory days. We were raised on a tree. Wait, wait, wait. All right, you won. All right, keep playing it, though. The- yeah, okay. We are strong and beautiful. I don't care what they say. Even if we're penniless, still look like royalty to me. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, He's- guys. I like this one because he's doing it all. He's doing the guitar and the singing. You can tell this is a one-man operation. Mm -hmm. And what I like about this versus your Bob Marley guy versus my Still Alive guy is that he's standing out. You know what I mean? Mm. 
He's not just do, he's not just copycatting. Yeah, the, my only thing is is I didn't feel the emo as much as No, I didn't. I don't see how a, this is an emo anthem, but it's it's, it's good. An anthem. It's an anthem. It's good. Yeah. It's yeah. good. I yeah. like his style. I think he knows what he's doing in terms of promo. Yeah. Um yes, I, I so I, I like that a lot and I just love his name. He's making an effort. He's not just The reason I like the reason I wanted the show still alive it's because he said he's got a Ruger in his pocket. I'm like, dude. Is it a Ruger like the grow, old German gun? Grow up. He also what lacked a lot of effort there, I will say. What? The effort was lacking. In what? For, for me. For Still Alive? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Really, though, I have, I've been, that Bob Marley song, I've watched countless times in the past week. But that's like a cover, kind of, right? I was hoping he was going to do a black scent. Yeah, that would have been awesome. Yeah. What's this guy's name again? Andy Negative, with two N's and Andy. That's so sick. It's so good. Andy Negative. Is he in a band? No, everything I've seen is just him. He's solo? Yeah. It's hard to do. Bit of a... Hard to do. Dude, he's kind of looking like uh, Jared Leto's Joker. A little bit, yeah. A little bit of that vibe. Just with that short green hair and the, the dark eyes. The sunken eyes with the the makeup. All right, well, Andy Negative. Let's give a shout out. Shout out to all the contestants. Shout out Liam Starling. for having his first I'm on the board. team member. He's I'm on, on the board. board. Wow. I'm on the board. Feels good. Feels good to be on the board. I thought I was going to sweep you. I, I need to come out swinging, dude. Okay, so round three goes to Liam. Round four next week. I'll say this. I've got to print. My algorithm is dialed in. It's dialed. And I'm going to bring, I'm going to come out swinging next week. Me too. And I don't, I guarantee right now I will win. I guarantee right now you won't. Do you have one in your pocket? I have 15 ready to go. I have 10 ready to go. I don't need 15. Mine are all heavy hitters. We'll see. You're, you're going for volume, not quality. You're talking a big, which is big, kind of the story of your life. You're talking a big game, man. All right, what were you going to say? Did we talk about Sean getting kidnapped? No, we didn't. We should. Speaking of Cracker of the Week, he's our I Cracker mean, of the Year, Sean Stevens. Yes, look up Sean Stevens. If you haven't heard this guy, uh, he's a CEO that makes music. And Emily, if you, you've heard of him, he plays this song. I am rectangular. I feel it in my bones. I am rectangular. But I this guy... Do you want to explain it? Yeah. Sean Stevens. I'm going to mess up a few of the details. But he went to South America. South Africa? I feel like it was Africa. Here, just pull up the pull up the article, Emily. Yeah. South Africa. Okay. So, Sean Stevens, um, he went to South Africa. I think he was visiting his mother there who yep. works at a charity, has a charity down there. And he says he got kidnapped at gunpoint this is fucking insane he did i mean this happened no i know i'm not saying it like like he's allegedly i'm saying like he got kidnapped at gunpoint his 18 year old daughter and his 15 year old son his 15 year old son right yep yeah they were kidnapped by these guys they held him at gunpoint basically drove him around a bunch of atms to a bunch of atms and drained their bank account Took all the money from his mom's charity, mm -hmm. threatened to do assault uh, yeah. his children, mm -hmm. and threatened to kill him. And he said he thought, I mean, he thought he was going to die. This would be, I don't think I would ever get over this if this happened to me. No, no, dude. And it sucks because he's, he's a sweet guy. Yeah, he is. Oh, my God, dude. He, he would be, he would body everyone in Cracker of the Week. Yeah, dude, he is, he's the goat. And brutal. I mean, it's just fucking insane. Wait, it's, is there no answers right now? What no, do you no, mean he, I mean, they, they let him go. They just, like, brought him back to where they picked him up from. They they posed. He got pulled over. He thought they were cops pulling him over, but they were just not. And they immediately, like, pistol whipped him and shit and drove him around and robbed him. And apparently this has been going on a little bit in this area that they were at. And they just let him go after? Yeah. And they and were. And then they robbed, I mean, they robbed a fucking charity. Dude. Uh, basically an orphanage is what it is. Yeah. Holy shit. <sighs> so no one got arrested? Uh, not yet. I don't think. Not yet. 
doubt I anyone's ever yeah gonna i don't think they're gonna ever catch this. him okay he lost ten thousand dollars in cash along with a self few cell phones and some jewelry i doubt he even gives a shit about that no that's thank God, just all right it's just as long as he's safe probably it yeah oh if that ever happened to me i i, I would never try i would never leave my country again i'd be too scared there was one time my buddy asked me to go to the ATM with him because he was uh, depositing a lot of money in cash. And I remember being like actually nervous about it. And I thought, what if he got robbed? I wouldn't, I'd probably be like, I, sorry, I was on my phone. Yeah. Sorry, man. I missed you can that. have all of it. Yeah. Sorry. My buddy used to work for a, a jeweler he, during a summer. And like on his first day, like part of his job was uh, he had to like dry, like, basically like transport jewels and on his first day the guy was like yeah always keep keep your head on a swivel make sure the same car isn't following you around take a different route to and from work every day i was like what the fuck Dude. there's no there's no way i would take that job just uh, carrying around tens of thousands of dollars in jewels no i got followed the other day what yeah, it was really scary. What happened? I went to go walk to um, get some food down by Venice Beach. Um, and on my way back, like, do you ever, I guess, probably not because you're a guy, but every time I'm walking on a street, especially here, like in New York, you can't really avoid it. But here, if I like, it, it's kind of an empty street and someone's like walking right behind me, I don't like that feeling. So I'll just like walk slower or just pretend to stop and like look like I'm waiting for someone to get I do that as well. You know, I just don't like the feeling of someone being right behind me. So I did that once and then this, it was a person that passed and it was a woman. I was like, oh my God, why was I scared? Then I felt someone else uh, along the walk doing it. So I just like stopped again and they walked past me, but then like started to slow down immediately and like stop at the corner. And he was like definitely a little hobo-ish. Um and then he kind of like lingers around the corner, but like hides around the other side of the corner. So I couldn't really see like if he had left or not. But then I kind of saw him peek out a little bit and I was like, oh shit, like he's still there. And then I was like, okay, I need to just cross the street and walk on the other side because it was a thick road. And I saw um, these two men like walking, crossing the street. So I was like, oh, okay, I can cross while they're crossing and just pass them so that I'm not alone. God forbid this man starts to follow me. And as I walk past the homeless man, he, like, reaches out at me. And he has a ring in his hand. And he's, like, trying to, like, like propose to me or some shit. He's just, like, shoving the ring in my face. And I just, like, start, like, walking really fast. And then at when I crossed the road, I walked really, really fast ahead. I kept checking back. He's following. And then I, like, ended up getting around a corner where, like, I couldn't be caught anymore. And I was, like... And of course, like in those moments, I tried to call everyone I knew and nobody was answering their phones. Didn't call me. Walking around Venice as a woman sounds like a, it's a Mr. Beast challenge. Walk around anywhere as a woman. I have that, it's that John Mulaney bit, but I, I think about it in the opposite way where I'm on a sidewalk and I'm behind a woman. Oh, and they and think I'm like, they fucked. I, I, I feel bad. And like, it's. I, I, I purposely make my footsteps louder. So people can know that like they're staying the same distance away or I'll like try to I'll do like what Emily was saying. I'll like stop and get on my phone, and pretend I'm doing something because I just don't want to make anyone feel weird. I do the get out sprint at them <laughs> <laughs> and then to just dart away at the last second. That's honestly nice of you guys to be so thoughtful about that because that's something that gives me so much anxiety. It just makes me uncomfortable. I don't like being Or you should just people. like get on the phone and start pretending like you're gay and then it's all good. I get on the phone and I say, yeah, I'm right behind her. Why would that? Yeah. I guess maybe. I guess I guess gays aren't attacking women for the most part. And then I, I just call out the collar of their shirt they're wearing. <laughs> Green shirt. Gin ginormous. Ginormous. This is me falling in like Green shirt. Ginormous shoes. <laughs> like, yeah, like size, size 17 at least. Maybe size 18. Yeah. If you. You're like two blocks away, right? Yeah, you should be able to hear it. It sounds like she's got flippers on and they're smacking the concrete. <laughs> yeah, you hear? Just follow this. I don't even need to follow her. Just follow the sound of her flippers smacking the concrete. Got it. That's me following Emily. I heard uh, someone describe a woman. Uh, ha uh, there was a, a woman with uh, heaving breasts 
and someone described that she had cow tits. Sounds like something Frank Reynolds would say. And I haven't stopped thinking about the term cow tits in two days. Yeah, it's really depressing. I yeah, I was like, that's sad. That's what does that exactly mean? Big, <sighs> big honking milkers, probably. Yeah, biggest. If if I had to think about it for two seconds, probably means big honking milkers. Yeah, yeah, that's how Kyla likes them. I like them veiny. Ew, stop, please. Vein your, I should be able to see every vein your tit. Otherwise, get out of here. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Go back to the doctor. Taking another quick break to talk to you about BetterHelp. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is just a really easy way to get that therapy experience that maybe it's too hard to go find some in-person place to go, depending on where you are. I had a hard time doing that, so I just started using BetterHelp, and it, it's awesome. It helps me with my relationships, helps me work on myself, and it makes me feel better. So if you feel like you would benefit from therapy or you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try, okay? Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist at any time for no additional charge, which is really nice. Become your own soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Visit betterhelp.com slash beers today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash beers. And also we are brought to you by game time. I tried to go to a UFC event over the summer and it was one of the most frustrating things ever trying to buy tickets, knowing what I would be seeing from my seats. You know, I didn't know if I was getting the right deal, the wrong deal, but not anymore. That's not a problem for me because I use game time. You shouldn't have to worry about, you know, getting tickets. Game time makes it so easy with killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat. That's my favorite part. And their best price guarantee. Game time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. Okay. We got easy to find tickets, you buy any kind of event in your area, lowest price guarantee, even event cancellation protection, job loss protection, all that stuff. All that good, good, good stuff. Just take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Friday for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem redeem code F R I D A Y Friday for twenty dollars off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Let's get back into the episode. Do you want to do a character? Sure. Okay, this is uh, Dr. Bucket. Oh. I'm handing back uh, HIV tests like we're in class. Okay. Okay. Ah, Emily. Got your results here. Thank you Great. so much. Great, yeah. Um, Mark. Negative, thank God. My brother. There you go, buddy. Great job. Okay. Tommy. Where's Tommy? Our star. No surprises here, Tommy. No surprises. <clears throat> Liam? Yeah. See me after class, buddy. Okay. And anyone that's uh, been around Liam, see me after class. Cool. Fuck. Charlie! Buddy! I knew it. I knew it, brother. And, um, I don't know how to say this. I'm so sorry. Uh, but you should get tested immediately. I, 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 I don't know how I got it, but you, uh, you should get tested for it. AIDS. Yeah. No, I'm not kidding. No, this isn't a joke. I just found out I'm in class. I just got a test back I made. Wait, who is this? Uh, sorry, put your mom on the phone. Your mom... No, I didn't give... Put your mom on the phone. Hey, Susan. Yeah, you have AIDS. You should talk to your son. He just found out before you did. Talk soon. Liam, can I actually see that? Mm-hmm. You're going to hate me. What? I misgraded it. So I don't? I'm yeah, you're good. Call him back. Ah, I'll let her just figure it out. 
All right, I'll call her. Wait, is this? Hey, me again. Might have jumped the gun on that diagnosis. Never mind. Right, we're good? Yeah. Dr. Bucket? Yeah. Dr. Bucket? <laughs> yep. Confirm don't have AIDS? Confirm don't have AIDS. Confirm don't have AIDS. Dr. Bucket just said that. I don't know why you're crying. I just... Liam. Yeah. Can I talk to you for yeah. a second? Yeah. Oh, I'll call you back. What's your last name? Cullah. C-U-L-L. Okay. Um, Liam Smith. Hey, buddy. There you go. Sorry. You have HIV. Oh Liam, uh, the mix-up was that it was the wrong last name. Liam Culla has um, full-blown AIDS, and yeah, you might want to call him back. Yeah. I was surprised when you said I didn't have it because it feels like I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, you've lost like 90% of your body weight in the last two weeks. There's... Uh, an aura around you. It's almost like it sucks the gravity out of the... Yeah. I don't think I'm going to call her back. I think I'm just going to throw this in her window. At like 3 a.m. The re if you didn't get a score back, you have AIDS. So, all right, see you guys next week. And that's Doctor Bucket. Have fun chopping that one up, Emily. Yeah, you're gonna get canceled for that one. I am. Yeah. I feel like we did that before. We did that one before. Something like that. You did one where the teacher hands the test back, but it's like the kid's an idiot. So he goes, ah, uh, that was it. Is that what you're thinking of? Yeah. Uh, maybe. Perhaps. I'm trying to think about all the AIDS characters we've, we've done. Too many count. And I wanted to do that one on the live show, but we didn't. That's probably why. That's probably why I know. So that's probably what you're thinking of. Mm. Mm. All right. I have one. Why am I going to get canceled for that? People who have HIV might get offended. Or they'll th say okay, thanks for making it. Light. Cut it. Cut the whole fucking episode. <laughs> Who fucking cares? Okay. We are CIA agents, and we are talking to SEAL Team 6 as they invade Osama bin Laden's compound. Uh, we have earpieces in talking to them against their will. They didn't want this. Mm -hmm. uh, your name is Benji, and I'm Felix. Okay. Okay, they're in. Guys. Look in every nook and cranny in that house. Do not leave any nook or any cranny unsearched. Check every nook. Check every cranny. Look out for for a, like a bookshelf that could be a, like a fake door. Mm -hmm. Start pulling pulling on books. See if a, like a fake door, like Scooby Doo mm -hmm. door, opens up or something like that. Uh, uh, Bravo team, uh, checking in here. Check for any paintings where it seems like the eyes move left and right. Like when you walk by them, the eyes like get real wide, move left and right. Like someone's on the other side of the painting, look looking as if there were eyes moving left and right. Copy. Okay, they're in the hallway. Check the the ceiling of the hallway and see if he's sprawled out on the on the ceiling with his hands and feet. Mm -hmm. See if he's just like doing a spider thing on top of the ceiling. He's not there. Um, Guys, go ahead and double check. This is sorry. I'm just getting this intel now. Go ahead and double check. If you see two candles next to each other and one of them's lit, light the other one. See if like it's there's like a big, big door that spins open and it spins you on the other side and then you get trapped, and you turn around, and you don't see your team your team anymore. Copy over and out. Look out for any marbles on the ground or banana peels. He's probably set up some some Home Alone booby traps. Mm -hmm. Look out for any paint paint cans swinging from a balcony. Uh, okay, they're looking pretty good. Good. Looking down the hallway is nice. Look behind any curtains. If he's like hiding behind a curtain or something, mm -hmm. look for any, look for like uh, a pair of shoes sticking out from underneath the bed. 
Check that nook. Cranny coming up on the left. Okay, nice. Guys, if there's any if there's any giant suits of armor. Yeah, good in call. the corner. Yeah. Maybe he might be in the, he might be in the check, lift the hood up, see if there's a guy standing in a giant suit of armor. Look for a uh a, a pile of of uh, stuffed animals. Mm. See if there's a human face in the pile of stuffed animals. He might be using a pile of stuffed animals <laughs> to try to hide. No, okay. Look for any look for just like check all the check all the crannies too. I don't know if we already said that. And the nooks. Yeah, the nooks too. Nooks and the crannies, check those. Um trying to think of other places where they hide. Yeah, I'm trying to think too, guys. Hold on, we're gonna think of other places. Hold on, guys. Um We have Intel coming in. Just uh, it's gonna take a second. Yeah, get no, don't don't move until we've debriefed. If you see like a I understand you have a shot on him, but we, we need to make sure. Pull that woman's hair and see if she's wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. And if maybe it's Osama wearing a woman's, she's doing like, maybe Osama's doing a missed out fire thing. Mm -hmm. If you see him walk by in a big, a big sleepy cap and he's holding a plate with a candle on it, do not fall for that. Don't fall for that. He's not asleep. Yeah. If he's pretending like he's sleepwalking, take him out. Do not wake him up. Do not wake up a sleepwalker. If you run to a sleepwalker, do not wake up that sleepwalker. It would jeopardize this entire mission. Oh, they shot him. They shot something. There's a lot of gunfire going off. I can't see. Was he... Did you guys get him? It was just a suit of armor. They shot an empty suit of armor. Fuck. Ch try to see if he painted himself the same color as the wallpaper. And he's up against the wall like that one music video, somebody I used to know. Maybe mm -hmm. he's doing like a somebody I used to know thing. Also, just double check. If you see like if you see like a big giant steaming pie, make oh. sure it's not like a false wall they painted on. Oh yeah. If you see like a, a tunnel painted on the wall, mm -hmm. that's not a real tunnel. That's painted don't, on the wall. Don't run full speed into it, you'll pancake. And check every nook and cranny. Check all the nooks and crannies. They're not responding. They are not responding. I am a little concerned. Maybe oh, maybe check check see if he's in the bathtub with like a straw. If you see a straw poking out of the bathtub, mm -hmm. maybe he's just lying hiding underwater. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you see any newspaper, if you see a guy sitting down reading the newspaper, and there's like a hole cut out, and you can see his eyes through the newspaper, I'll just check check to make sure it's that guy. If you see if you see a guy in a morph suit that's kind of posing like he's a mannequin, have you ever seen those mm -hmm. those mall pranks? I hear gunfire. Yep. You got him. Geronimo down. Nice. I bet it was the bookcase. It probably was probably the bookcase. Yeah, genius. Genius. Obama's gonna be so pumped. Obama. Mm -hmm. President Obama. Mm, yeah. I bet he'll be pretty happy. I'm not doing it for him, though. Yeah, you didn't vote for him. I did. Mm -mm. You were loud about that. I made a big stink. Yeah. I made it clear it has nothing to do with... Black. Yeah. Black. Yeah. And that's Benji and Felix. I thought of more things than I thought I was going to be able to. I got stuck. I got stuck at a certain while, too. You got a good one with the, the stuffed animal. Yeah. That was my favorite one. That was a good one. <laughs> did you see what I did in the middle of it? I saw you Google something, but I didn't look. I go places to hide in case you guys got lost. <laughs> oh, thank you. There you go, Emily. <laughs> but then I was like, they're not going to look at this. An this is the worst episode ever. It's up there. It's up there. Um, Nothing we could do, man. Could be the last episode ever. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm ever going to put on the headset again. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the other day, I was like, if I were to get a tattoo, I would get that in like just the, the Bible script on my ribs, that entire fucking. There he goes, rounding second. Can we pull that up. I just want to watch that again. What is it? Put up Red's announcer. The fat What's capitals it? of the world. Yeah, there yeah. we are. 
Friends Live, the pregame show presented by Ray St. Clair Roofing. How did he not? I know. Three nothing ball game with the Reds in front of the Royals. We go to the top half of the fifth inning. Castellanos to lead things off. Jim Day is going to be taking us the rest of the way through this game. Like As keeps, Holland takes over on the mound. Uh, the it's time. amazing. I made a comment earlier tonight that uh, I guess uh, I <laughs> yes. went out over the year that yeah. I am deeply <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> ashamed of. Um, if I have hurt anyone out there, what is that? I can't what tell you how much I say from the bottom of my heart, I'm so very, very sorry. I pride myself and think of myself as a, a man of faith. As there's a drive in a deep left field by Castellanos, <laughs> it will be a home run. Okay, pause, pause. I'm not kidding. That is Castellanos. That is a Hall of Fame hit. Yep. That Because sh- if he doesn't do that, this video isn't as funny as... It, it's, it, it's, it cemented it as the funniest video I've ever seen. It's one of those things where it's like simulation theory when like Anthony Weiner, that politician, was sending dick pics. Mm-hmm. You're like, all right, somebody's pulling straight. This is yeah. a, this is we're living in a fucking computer. Yeah, simulation. this is like it's too funny. Like it could not he could not have hit a home run at a better time. I also love that they've got no idea what's going on. No clue. They, have, seen- they have no idea. He has no idea that that home run. In this game against the Royals in the middle of the season will be one of the most famous home runs in baseball history. Yep. That, and there's something beautiful about that. You can keep going. And so that'll make it a 4 nothing ball game. I don't know if I'm going to be putting on this headset again. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be for the Reds. I don't know if it's going to be for my bosses at Fox. I want to apologize for the people who signed my paycheck for the Reds, for Fox Sports Ohio, for the people I work with. For anybody that I've offended here tonight, I can't begin to tell you how deeply sorry I am. That is not who I am uh, and never has been. And I'd like to think maybe I could have some people that uh, that could back that up. I am very, very sorry, and I beg for your forgiveness. Jim Dale will take you the rest of the way home. What I love is that there's almost like a pause after he apologizes. Wait, what did he say? I didn't hear He it. said uh, Kansas City, F capital of the world. There is a moment where he's where he apologizes and you can like hear his lips smacking and he pauses and you can tell he's wondering like is the camera going to switch off me? Holy shit, and the camera just sits there and he keeps talking cuz he's like it's still on me. I got to still apologize while they're scrambling to find the next guy to take over. Oh, my God, dude. And he's just sitting there in limbo. He just has to get out. And they won't let him. Dude, uh, look up that if that announcer got fired. 100%. Is, I wonder what, what he's doing now. Oh, he resigned. Oh, he has, he has a new gig. Go down, go down, go down. What go is down. it? He's going anti-woke. He's got to lean in. <laughs> yeah. He saw that. He saw oh, he's that doing high school football games for a Cincinnati-based company called Chatterbox Sports. Yeah, that's a, that's a fall from the graces, dude. Oh, oh. That's a nightmare. Oh, that makes me so sad. Oh, that's the safety net he fell into. Taking a quick break to talk to you more about FitBot. If you're anything like me, you walk into a, a gym or an exercise routine with just complete anxiety and confusion. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing random stuff, but not anymore thanks to FitBot, okay? FitBot creates a personalized workout routine based on your goals, fitness level, and available equipment. FitBot adapts to you as you improve, so each workout will be challenging and push you to make progress. Tracks muscle recovery. It's fine-tuned by experienced certified personal trainers. Look at Angus. He's all jacked up thanks to FitBot. Seriously, guys, learn new movements the right way. Okay, add FitBod to your workout essentials. Join FitBod today to get your personalized workout plan. Get 25% off your subscription or try the app free at fitbod.me slash almost Friday. That's F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash almost Friday. Let's get back into the episode. Can I do another character I just thought of? Mm-hmm. All right, um, we're hanging out. I'm going to introduce you to my new boyfriend. And um, I come in and it's literally a clone of you. Okay. All right. Hey, what's up, dude? Yo, what's up, man? Thanks for having me. This is Mark. What the fuck? What? That's that's... he's sorry. He's told you he'd be like this. 
That's a that's a clone of me. Don't fuck with him. He doesn't how, know he doesn't know you that well. How did how did you clone me? What? How did you clone me? That's me. That is not you. It's it, the, the guy looks exactly like me. Mark, can you give us a minute? Thank you. Don't fuck this up for me, dude. The sex is fucking insane. Yeah, you're having sex with me. How did you clone me? Stop. His eyes are rolling over it. in the back he's of his head. Break up with is me, he dude. okay, dude? He's he's his nose is bleeding. This guy, I'm telling you, dude, he has changed my life. His eyeballs are falling out of his head. Yeah, it's because I've been I've been blowing his back out every night. You got to push those back in like an old dog. Hey, man, you're my best friend. I don't I don't want you doing this. You're gonna ruin something special. I have. No offense. Can I at least get a turn with them? Nah, that would kind of make me uncomfortable. You see how that might make me uncomfortable? Do you see how this would make me uncomfortable? I, I don't see the resemblance. If you're going to fuck me, why can't I fuck me? I've always had fantasies about having he sex with him, but... has... I don't know if it's a medical condition. Mm. I don't know if it's... Magic? No amount of cum can fill that guy up. I'm telling you, I've never seen this guy piss or poop. Just swallow his own tongue. He's choking. I don't think he can die. Is he alive? Kind of? No? He was alive, and I injected some like chemicals into his head and I kind of have to like Dahmer and I kind of have to just move him around you cut open his skull and you dumped acid in there mm -hmm. and I can't get a turn what if you never find out about it uh I don't know it's just like it's like a hy hygiene thing fair what if I like put like a hose in his mouth and it goes out all the holes I'm him. telling you that there no amount of liquid comes up. Does he piss or shit? Nope. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I would let you, but it's like I don't know, it's like I don't even let people drink like I don't even drink after other people. Yeah, you wouldn't even let me like sky your water the other day. Yeah. You're a bit of a germaphobe. Oh, is that how you fucking got? My water bottle I left. Does he sound like me in bed? This is going to sound weird. He sounds more like you than you do. Mm. Is that that moaning I heard the other day? That sound like me? Mm -hmm. I was dreaming. Mm -hmm. No, I was... It was like a Germanic, like, oh... So while you're inside of his, his eyes get black like that, and he goes, oh. Mm -hmm. And it vibrates my skull. And uh, You know, I've had that itch I can't get to. That's the only thing that fixes it. You ever seen those videos where they play like a certain frequency and the sand develops into a pattern? It's kind of like what happens to his guts when you're in them. Correct. All right. Hmm. Now, can you behave in front of him? Okay. Nice to meet you, Mark. Thank you, Liam. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Mark. I really like your house. <clears throat> thank, thank you. A lot of people say that I look just like you. All right. That's, no, you don't. Don't make it weird. It's my best friend. I'm not... <laughs> Say, can I use the bathroom? Can he use the bathroom? Sure. <laughs> How long do you want to keep him around for? Can this be like a week thing and we move on from this? <laughs> Just until he starts stinking up the place. <laughs> he stinks right now, dude. I got used to it. I think he's pooping and peeing and it's just staying in his body. I'm nose blind. I think half his body is just poop and cum at this point. 
I told you he was a jokester. He's like the Kool-Aid man, but it's just poop and cum. <laughs> He's a balloon, ready to burst. <sighs> Say, can we play Monopoly? Well, what's the name of that game? Oh, uh, Monopoly Deal. Do you have the cards? I do. It sounds like so much fun. Yeah, no, it's... You care if we play? Well, can we play Uno Attack instead? I just, I've got a new Uno Attack set up. I got the batteries and everything. Actually, I need like one more deep, deep. Triple A battery, actually, I think. He's probably got some inside. I feel like if you cut his wrist, it would be like Spider Man webs of shit. Can we try that at least? Can I try doing that? Can we just wait till he turns green or something? All right. I yeah. just want to get the most use out of it while I can. Sure. All right. Thanks, dude. No problem, man. All right. And that was. Give him a name Cobalt. All right, dude. That was Milwaukee tools. All right, cut, <laughs> cut it. No, I like that. <laughs> no. I got some snap memories the other day of uh, Pat's win the Super Bowl. And I felt, I was like, wow, oh, that might have been the last time I was alive. And they're never going to win again. Celtics. If my sports teams aren't, if my fucking sports teams aren't doing well, dude, I'm not doing well. Do you know what pisses me off? What, sister? Of course, Taylor Swift has a boyfriend, and of course, his team is in the fucking Super Bowl. Like, why does she just have everything she wants in life? She's beautiful, she's worked intelligent. Hard. She's beautiful. She's talented. She's extremely smart. Yeah, works hard. Work ethic. Uh, Could, I couldn't say enough nice things about her, and I think the outrage against her is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah, it's annoying. And if you're outraged against her, you're part of the problem that she's getting so much screen time. You're a loser. Worry about something else. Did you see that video of her walking in the tunnel and people were screaming at her like you're ruining football? It's like, Jesus Christ, man. It's a human being. That's mean. That's a human being. I mean, people are like... Easy. Fucking... Easy. What? You want Swifties coming at you. No one listens to this podcast. You know, all those numbers we see when she prints out the reports? It's a bot farm in Albania. Probably. Probably. It's a bunch of guys in Latvia I hired to play the episode in the background. You know, 2% of uh, America's electricity uh, goes to Bitcoin. 2% of America's electri electricity use, give this a Google, Emily, is for Bitcoin. What the fuck are we doing? I don't even know how that works. Basically, do you know how blockchain works? Nope. All right. For my listeners that no bitcoin please ignore me and go easy on me and my listeners that don't know bitcoin this is basically how it works bitcoin is run on blockchain and all blockchain is is essentially like it keeps a record of who has what bitcoin what accounts hold or what bitcoin wallet has you know yeah x amount of bitcoin and the blockchain is essentially everyone's computer checks with each other like this is the current record I have. And then the other computer goes, this is the current record I have. And they go, great. That's, that's the, we have the record. And so if someone, uh, I, I don't actually know how this would work, but if someone wanted to like change the amount of Bitcoin they had or like hack it or something, you have a billion other computers checking the blockchain and going, nope, that's wrong. We have a ton of versions like this. Your version's wrong. So we aren't going to use that. So it's like verified by everyone else's computer. And so it uses a ton of electricity. I, I think I, that's what Bitcoin mining is. I zoned out. Does that make sense though, actually? Uh, I, I, I fully went somewhere else. I know, but does that make sense? I, I lost you. I actually, my I just heard like- I think blockchain is basically a bunch of computers checking if they have the same information. And it takes up a lot of energy. And I don't know enough about Bitcoin. So if I'm wrong, why are you getting your information from this podcast? And if I'm right, you should come back for more because I know all sorts of stuff about science and like how all that junk works. So either way, I win. And uh, is that right, though? Is it 2%? Yeah, it's over 2%. Oof. What the hell are we doing, dude? That Money can't. I just can't wait till Jesus Christ comes back. <laughs> he comes He's down. not taking you with us. Well, either way. See, I said with us. Because yeah. I'm going to heaven, you're going to hell. I don't know, man. I'm a God-fearing boy. Maybe an interdimensional fairy type will just take me. 
if right now an alien came down and said, you can, I'm being dead serious. Mm -hmm. An alien comes down and says, you can come with us, but no one will know where you went and you'll have just disappeared off the face of the planet. Would you do it? You have to leave everything behind. And he, and that you say, well, is it cool over there? And he's like, it's pretty cool. I think you'll like it. Would you go with them? And I never come back. Yep. You couldn't tell anyone. You couldn't tell your gal, your parents. They would just think you disappeared forever. Oh, man, that's tough. No, I don't think I'd go. I don't think I'd do it. But I don't think they'd give me the choice. I think they'd come, grab me, extract my cum, create some, like, hot alien hybrid. Probably Christ. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Sorry. Sometimes we Sometimes we have it. Sometimes there's a spark and there's a fire in our bellies when we walk into this room. But we're human beings. And this is the raw, this is the raw stuff. We get tired, we get down. But next week, if you're upset with us, we understand. If you never listen again, I, get it. I can't believe you listened in the first place. I get it. I genuinely can't. I think it's just like rain, the rain vibes. Nope. No, I haven't slept. Probably, in, I haven't slept in probably days. everything that's going on in our lives right now yeah. that's not going well. It's pro it probably has something to do with that. Yeah. It's not the water in the sky. That's the only, That might be helping. If it was a beautiful day out, that might drag me. Uh, yeah. I need, I need the, I'm glad that the, the atmosphere is reflecting my mood today. Mm -hmm. But this is what happens. That's dude. in the plot of Men in Black 2. Really? Yeah, he's, Will Smith kisses her or whatever, and she's like, haven't you ever noticed that when I'm sad, it rains. When I'm happy, it's sunny. Oh, I gotta rewatch it. No, Men, in, Men in Black's one of my favorite movies. Men in Black 1 is fucking awesome. It's actually just one of the f most fun movies ever made. Have you seen it? There's no. a scene in the new Men in Black where they're like doing a montage of like getting ready, and the guy comes out in like a weird looking suit, and he's like, and she goes, check please, and that's really in the movie. <sighs> That's awesome. All right. I'm going to go play Carpet Highway. What's that? It's where I lie down under a big gray carpet on the highway. Oh, that's a fun game. And just cross my little fingers that a trucker is uh, checking to see if his builders are done in Clash Royale or Clash of Clans just for that brief moment. And he smokes me. I need and then they flip the rug and it, it looks like a nice oriental pattern. At least you get to go home to River. So that'll do something. Yep. No. She's caked in her own diarrhea when you get home. She's eating it. Mm -hmm. She got into a bottle of vodka. Her eyes are yellow like Jordan. She's got jaundice. She's got gout. 